Hello, and welcome to Global Data Themes Instant Insights. At Global Data, we define a theme as something that keeps a CEO awake at night, as businesses that invest in important themes will succeed, and those that don't will fail. Hello, and welcome to Instant Insights. I'm Francesca Gregory, and today I'll be tracking to Amrit Dharmi and Dr. Lil Reed, thematic analyst at Global Data. Following the news that Salesforce has launched an NFT minting and sales platform called NFT Cloud. Hi Amrit. Hi Lil. Thanks for coming on. Hi Fran. Thanks for having me. Hi Fran. Thanks for having us. So Amrit, firstly, what are NFTs? So an NFT or non-fungible token is a unit of data stored on a blockchain. It's used to represent a digital asset like an image, video, meme or tweet, and people usually buy them to certify ownership of this asset. The non-fungible bit basically means that it's unique or non-interchangeable, and it's from this uniqueness that NFTs get a lot of their value. Thanks for that, Amrit. So Lil, do you think Salesforce's new platform will be a success? So Salesforce's NFT cloud is effectively a no-code NFT as a service platform that could provide an easy stepping stone for enterprises into the metaverse and into Web3. So I realised that there were quite a few technical terms there in the last sentence, so let me just explain a little bit. So Amrit's already beautifully outlined non-fungible tokens or NFTs, and like all emerging technologies, they can be quite complicated to build or program. So low-code or no-code platforms are an increasing trend that we see across multiple IT and software services, stretching from slightly more established technologies like cloud computing, right through to more emerging themes like NFTs. No-code platforms like Salesforce's NFT Cloud enable those with really little to no knowledge of the underlying code to use the technology in a way that works for them. Thanks for that, Lil. And Amrit, what are your thoughts? It will generate a lot of interest among the many brands that are keen to jump on the NFT bandwagon, but aren't too sure where to start. As a leading tech company, Salesforce's stamp of approval in this area may well renew the NFT hype and see more brands minting their own NFTs. Having been presented as a layman's guide to NFTs for brands, NFT Cloud could in turn see more consumers getting access to the world of NFTs, going a long way in deflating the perception that NFTs are fun for the ultra-rich but scams for everyone else. Thanks for that. So we can see more household brands getting involved. So, what are the impacts of NFTs becoming more accessible to consumers? In the medium to long term, it could deter celebrities and influencers from continuing to associate with NFTs. A lot of the value seen in the concept of NFTs is in their exclusivity. If existing social ecosystems propped up by NFTs fail to keep providing the benefits and, more importantly, the social kudos that they currently offer, then their desirability and power as a social currency will quickly diminish as the mystique around NFTs dissipates. Indeed, Salesforce's focus does appear to be around engaging brand new NFT communities. Thanks for that, Amrit. That's really interesting. So Lil, what does this mean for Web3? Could we see more developments? Well, Web3 is still in the developmental stage and it's quite hard to define. And the way it looks now is may not, may not be how it looks in the next few years. But firstly, it's not the metaverse. So although the metaverse and Web3 are different, there will likely be a a lot of overlap if either of them takes off in any real meaningful way. But one of the big areas where they they will likely overlap will be in NFTs. So here at Global Data, we define the metaverse as a virtual world where users share experiences and interact in real time with simulated scenarios. And my colleague Rapanta Guha talked about this in a previous episode of Instant Insights. Experiences and monetizing those experiences will be central to the metaverse. In contrast, though, Web3 is born from ideology and relates to the underlying infrastructure of the next iteration of the internet. Web3 will rely heavily on blockchain technologies and will be designed by communities. So Salesforce's offering should lower the barrier to entry into both the metaverse and Web3 for enterprises. Over time, this might encourage more widespread adoption of NFTs and broader Web3 themes. And this could mean that Salesforce is well positioned in the next wave of the rapidly evolving internet. Thanks for that, Lil. Now let's come to Amrit. So Amrit, we often talk about environment social governance issues. How will this affect Salesforce's ESG rating and the ESG impact of the wider NFT market? That's a great question. 
Salesforce's own employees have protested against the environmental concerns associated with NFTs and with using proof-of-work blockchains, with Ethereum being the most popular example of one of these. Anything blockchain-related requires high-power computers for the cryptography involved, and the huge amounts of electricity used come with a large carbon footprint. Proof-of-work blockchains are particularly energy-intensive, but Salesforce has confirmed that NFT Cloud will only support transactions made on energy-efficient blockchains, so Ethereum seems firmly off the table. Ethereum is actually in the process of moving to a proof-of-stake model. This model uses significantly less energy than its current proof-of-work one, but is far more complex, and so this move will take time. The environmental impact of NFTs is currently underexplored, so perhaps making NFTs a more mainstream concept through platforms like Salesforce's NFT Cloud will encourage the industry to acknowledge and confront blockchain's harmful ESG impact. Well, thank you to both Amrit and Lil for those instant insights, and thanks for listening. From Muslim Thematic Intelligence, see you next time. <laughs>